Good morning, third graders. Today we're on page 139 of your student journal, page 139, and our objective today is, today I will discover equivalent fractions using a number line. Okay, so let's look at that. Today I will discover, discover just means you're going to find equivalent, and we've talked about equivalent before. Remember equivalent means equal in value. They might look different, but their value is equal. So equivalent fractions using a number line. Okay, so let's look at our vocabulary. Our first word says equivalent fractions, and it's different fractions that represent the same value. And when they say different, they mean it looks different. Okay, so they appear to look different. So right here, they're showing us two-fourths has the same value as one-half. So they both have different numerators, two and a one, and different denominators, so they, they look different, but their value is exactly the same. Okay, our next word is fraction. It's a numeric value that represents part of a whole or part of a group. And then the denominator is the total number of equal parts in the whole. And the whole is an entire complete object or set. Okay. So I'm going to show you what this looks like on mine. We don't have any additional notes to take. Okay, here is my first problem. My first problem says, find e fractions equivalent to 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, and 4 fourths. Circle the equivalent fractions. Okay, so I'm gonna look at this number line, and always my first one I'm gonna put zero, and my last one I'm gonna put one. So zero and one. Then I'm gonna look at not how many dashes there are, but how many parts has this whole one been cut into. So this whole one was cut into one part, two parts, three parts, four parts. So since there's four parts, I know my denominator is going to be a four. And this is one part. When I get here, I have two parts, so my numerator is two. Here I have three parts, and here I would have four parts. So four fourths is the equivalent to one. Those are equal in value. Okay, now let's look at my next number line. I'm gonna scoot this up a little so I can see it better. Okay, again, I'm gonna put zero and one, and then I'm gonna see how many parts has this whole one been cut into. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight parts in the whole, which means my denominator is going to be eight. And notice I put the fractions right underneath the line. That's where we put them, right underneath the line. Okay, so when I go from zero to one here, I have one of the parts. I have two of the parts. So see how I'm doing my numerators? Three of the parts four of the parts, five of the parts, six of the parts, seven of the parts, and here I have eight of the eight parts, and that's equal to one. Okay, so now that I've done that, they want me to find equivalent fractions for one-fourth. Well, look at one-fourth and two-eighths are exactly the same on the number line. Two-fourths is exactly the same spot as four-eighths on the number line, three-fourths fourths is exactly the same as six-eighths on the number line, and one and four-fourths is the same as eight-eighths. So I found equivalent fractions that way. Okay, I'm gonna show you another one of these. Let me turn my page. Here, they want me to find fractions equivalent to one-third, two-third, and three-thirds, and circle equivalent fractions. Okay, so let's look at my number lines. Again, my first one is always zero and one, unless they're labeled. So I'm gonna look at this one hole and see what it, how many parts it was cut into. So I see one part, two parts, three parts. 
So since there's three parts, my denominator is going to be a three. And here I have one of the parts. Now I have two of the parts and now I have all three parts. So that's how I determine my numerator. Okay, let's look at this number line. I'm gonna put a zero and a one. And then I'm gonna count how many parts it was cut into. So ready, one, two, three, four, five, six parts. So that tells me my denominator is going to be a six. And my numerator is gonna be one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, and six sixths. Okay. So what's equivalent? Well, one third is equivalent to two sixths because they're exactly the same amount. Two thirds is equivalent to four sixths because they're exactly the same amount. And one or three thirds is equivalent to six sixths because they're the same amount. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, let's do some of these together. We're on page 140, we're on page 140. And here's our first one we're going to be doing together. And it says, find fractions equivalent to one half and two halves, circle equivalent fractions. Okay, so on our, remember we're gonna start by putting a zero and a one. And you could do that on both of them if you'd like. We're gonna do zero and one. Okay, on our first number line, we're going to see how many parts was that whole one cut into. So it was cut into one part, two parts. So our denominator, or our bottom number, is going to be a two. And here I have one of the parts, so that's called one half, and now I have two of the parts, so that's called two halves. Okay, let's look at this bottom number line. How many parts was the whole cut into? One part? two parts, three parts, four parts. So our new denominator, I'm sorry, is going to be a four. So let's put a four and the denominator is my bottom number. And then here I have one of the parts. To get here I have two of the parts. To get here I have three of the parts. And to get here I have four of the parts. Okay, so they want us to circle an equivalent fraction for one half. Well, look at one half is in the exact same spot as two fourths. You have the same amount. And two halves is the same as four over four. They're both equivalent to one. Okay, let's do one more of these together. Okay, our next one says, find fractions equivalent to one third two-thirds and three-thirds. Circle the equivalent fractions. Okay, so let's put our zero and our one. Okay, now let's count the parts our whole was cut into. So one, two, three. So our denominator is going to be a three. Okay, and our numerator here is gonna be one, because I have one part. Now I have two parts, and now I have three parts. Okay, let's look at our second number line. How many parts was it cut into? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so our denominator is going to be a six. And our numerator is gonna be one, two, three, four, five and six. Six six is the same as one, just like three thirds is the same as one. Whenever your numerator and denominator are the same, that means it's equal to one. Okay, so one third is equivalent to two six, two thirds is equivalent to four six, and three thirds is equivalent to six six. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly have a great day. Keep practicing this and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.